Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your favorite online place to learn how to play banjo, guitar, and mandolin. I hope you're having a great day out there. Today we're learning a great basic version of an old, old folk song called Oh Susanna. What's great about it is because those of you who are just learning how to play banjo, this is a good one to learn. It's not too hard and I explain it very, very well. But then I also teach a second solo uh, that you'll see over there on the website where we're going to go in and throw some melodic licks down. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, um, I encourage you to go over to the website, BanjoBenClark.com, where you can join as a Gold Pick member and get hundreds of videos and tabs. And I do this each and every week. I switch out between the instruments. Over there, you can also download uh, the tab in both PDF and TEF file forms. I have an MP3 available for download of the rhythm track, um, as well as um, close to a 30-minute video lesson teaching you how to play each and every note then I play it all the way through for you very slowly. And then I have four different speeds of guitar rhythm tracks videos. So you have no excuse. Okay, next time you go to Alabama, you can have banjo on your knee and play some Oh Susanna. Last time I went to Alabama I was to watch my ags whoop up on that crimson tide. <laughs> We're gonna learn a great solo, basic solo to Oh Susanna in the key of G. <laughs> And then I'm going to teach you a second solo that's much like the first one, except in key points we're going to throw in some melodic licks. Just to get you used to playing some of those melodic licks that really spice up uh, your basic versions. Okay, um, We're going to start off there, measure one on the third beat. I do want you to notice that beneath each one of the notes I have your right hand fingerings labeled. So you see those first notes there in measure one have a T with a circle in it, around it. That stands for your thumb. And then a one would be your index finger, and a two would be your middle finger. We're going to start on the third beat there with a thumb on the G string, on the third string, open. Then we're going to play it again on the second fret. So we're just walking right into this melody. And then keep that there because in the second measure we're going to do a forward roll, okay? And we're going to slide whenever we do that. So we're going to pick this third string on the second fret and slide to the fourth fret. And, but we're going to do a forward roll with that, so it would sound like this. But if we throw the slide in there with it, it sounds like this. Then we can pick up that middle finger, and we're going to land on the open, third, um, open first string. Okay? So... Then we're going to do a pinch for the last beat of that measure on the second fret of the first string along with our open fifth string. Okay, so let's just play the intro there into the uh, through the second measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Now we're going to come back down with a backwards roll and measure three. So we're going to start on our first string, do a backwards roll, and land on the second fret of the G string. Good. After we play that, we're going to play another open first string and then land back on our open G string. So measure three sounds like this. Slowly. We're getting to measure four. This is a forward reverse roll. Okay, so if I'm, I'm going to ignore the slide right now and just play the notes for you that are in measure four. It starts off on this G string, and we're going to go forward through the strings and then back the way that we came. But when we throw the slide in there, it sounds like this. I'm just going to play measures one through four for you very slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. When we get to measure five, it's pretty easy because it's just four quarter notes. Thank you. 